we'll use these houses as an example. Yeah, using the 3D mapping data from Google. Pick, pick, pick one of those north-south facing houses. That's the orientation of my house, so. Any of those. We'll use these guys. Yeah. That'd be a good one. A good representation. Yeah. Sure. I have a solid south facing slope to my roof, so. Okay, nice. So. <laughs> of course, there's a bunch of trees that block mine, so uh, it doesn't help a lot, but. That'll be an option. Let's start with <laughs> the new product first. So we're gonna start with the solar roof. Okay. So for solar roof, there are a couple of states that we don't actually service yet, however we are getting there. Right now we're gonna start with Oregon, which you are currently servicing. So yep. which ones don't, don't you do? So we Off the top of my head, I have no idea. I just know that for Oregon, California, and Washington, we do serve those yep, Pacific we, Northwest. We got us here, but all right. But for yeah. certain states, we are currently not there. Yeah. Quick, quick, go through your fifth grade yeah, list was, of yeah, states. Yeah, like fifth grade. Uh, Montana's see. on there, we have... Uh, Nebraska, Hawaii is on there, Alaska is there. I remember doing a wrap. A wrap? Yes. <laughs> I'm not New York, North Dakota, America's not melting pot. Is North Dakota Albany's on here? Albany's capital in case you forgot. North Dakota is not on here. All right. You like how I remember that, huh? I yeah. do. <laughs> well, let's use one of your homes as an example. Okay. So for our solar roof, the entire tiles of the roof, so you should say the shingles itself, are not specifically solar cells. Yep. But it's the same material, only yep. individual shingles have the solar cells. Sure. Which is the cool part. Right? So the average roof, about $20,000, right? You'd say um, give or take. Yeah. Um, well, it depends. But yeah. 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 It, on, yeah. On, sure. On the average, we say it's about 20000 okay. which is a good number. You're talking about the roofing material or solar panels? The install panels? price, probably? Yeah, just for a standard roof. Okay, okay. Roofing Archite roofing architectural shingles. Yep. yep, okay, all right. Yeah. So I'm saying about 20000 that's a good ballpark number to be using. I mean, I, I got mine done for about 6000 Okay, nice. So you, well, yeah. you have a simple, very simple roof, though. I mean... Kind of, if, I guess. If you did mine, it'd be more like 20, because it's got oh, you have all those gables and, and hips and valleys yeah. and stuff yeah. like okay. that. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. That roof would not cost. That would, that, yeah, that roof wouldn't cost 20,000. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, we're really <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> so <laughs> that's one of the things my family's currently debating on right now. Should we go with the solar roof option or the solar panel option, right? Yeah. Because okay. we just bought our house in July of 2019, so it's like, do I really want to tear down a roof that's just recently built? Right. Or should I just go for that long-term investment? and we're sort of leaning towards the roof because at the end of the day, might as well just go with something we're gonna do it anyways. Right, yeah. And that's one of my favorite products. So using this as a rough example, uh, okay. what is the square footage of your uh, current home? Of the home or of the roof? Of the home. Of the home. Yep. Interior space, 3,600 square feet? 36 total, right? Yeah. Not including the garage? Not including the garage, yeah. It's a uh, number of stories? Two story. Two stories, all righty. And what's your average electric bill? See, the, the dollars are less interesting than the yeah. kilowatt hours consumed, which I, which I do have. But I can give you, you know, rough, rough yeah. dollars, and dollars vary greatly because I do heat pumps and electricity okay. is about all I have out there. So um, if you want dollars, I mean, we could say roughly $100 a month. $100 a month? All right. um, but there are months where it's over 200 and there are months where it's, I'm assuming you know, wintertime? Uh, yeah. Yeah. All right, perfect. So... How Tesla does our solar roofing or even solar panels is based on your electric consumption, right? So this ballpark number here is just for you to plug it online and get a rough estimate of how much it would cost you if you were looking to get the solar roof. Okay. Now, this price tag here is adjustable. So it's based on how much you are actually consuming. For my family, for example, we're exact same thing. We spend about 1,500 kilowatt hours worth of electricity during the winter time, but during the summertime, we're non-existent. We're in the 900s, 800s, mm -hmm. and that's what two Teslas at home. Here, okay, I got the worst of it. So yeah. worst of it, February of 2019, 140 kilowatt hours a day on okay. average, uh, whereas the best month would be August with 50 a day. Yeah. 
so nearly three times as yeah. much. Um, and, it, and it gets chilly in Washington and Oregon. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, I, I live. There's no natural gas where I am, so yeah. it's it's all electric. Heat mm. pumps. Heat pumps are super efficient when it's 40, 50 degrees outside. But when yeah. it gets down near freezing, they're not nearly as efficient. So, yeah. okay, there you go. And that's a good thing that we have this for you now. Yep. So potentially reducing it or negating it to zero. Well, you'll still be connected to the electric. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, it definitely won't be zero during February because yeah. there's not that much sunlight in February. So that's the kind of the big challenge every time we do this exercise with solar is it's great during the summer. Yeah. Great story during the summer, but January, not so great. Yes, yeah. exactly. So yeah. um, the analogy that I like to use is let's say how solar works. It's like you're owning a business, right? Out on the beach, three months of the summertime, very good business, lots of traffic, but for the remaining nine months, no one really goes out there besides the locals, right? And during those three months where you accumulate all of that funding, it's rolled over over nine months as credits for solar to pay for those dead days, you should say. Okay. And that's how solar works. Oh, okay, so it's a contract system where Tesla is, is both taking the risk and then also, um, uh, of the electrical consumption to nominalize it throughout the year. That is That's sort of the idea is, okay, um, so instead of me taking the advantage of feeding it back to the grid in the summer, Tesla gets that advantage, but then the flip side is during the winter when I don't have a lot of solar, Tesla's the one who's paying for the extra electric. Is that sort of the, so it's a commercial construct? Not, not exactly. So no, you are actually feeding back into the grid. Right. So you are feeding onto it. It's not anything that Tesla does in specific. It's more of what you do. Because again, your house is sitting there. Right, yeah, yeah. Throughout the entire days of the summertime, it's just accumulating all of those credits, feeding it back into the grid. And during the wintertime, you're still generating electricity, but not as much as you were during the summertime. And that's when you get those credits rolling back to you that you had extra during the summertime. Okay, so just the credits uh, via. Um, uh, dollar for dollar system. What's the name of the, what's the, name of the program? Net metering. Net metering. Yes, yeah, there we go. Net metering, and, yep. or if yeah, or if you guys are leasing it, then it'd be a power purchase agreement usually. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now rolling into this, we did actually remove one key feature is our power wall. So currently, you don't see a power wall to add it onto the solar roofing or the solar panels if you were choosing to place your reservation on it. Is essentially you have to just talk it through with the engineers. For me, I always recommend getting at least one power wall. And the reason for that is because you're already paying for installation of your solar system. How many kilowatt hours does a power wall hold? 13 and a half. 13 and a half, okay. And yep. the average home, I'd say a family of four, uses about 20 a day. So it's good enough to hold you afloat if there was an outage. Well, no. a day, that's no. not a problem. No, I don't have, yeah. any, I don't have anything because the numbers I just gave you were average per day. That is true. You so, got so, a so day, if yeah. I used 140 a day, I'd need yeah. 10 of those things to get through a day. Day, no. Night, possible. So during the day, your solar panels and credits would be kicking in, so you should be fine. However, yeah, except in, Fe except in, in February, February we're only getting the, the equivalent of like yeah. two hours worth of solar pa power yeah. um, at best, and that's not on the days where it's overcast, nasty overcast. So. Yeah. Uh, no, that would include it. There's maybe like one. No, well, like like that little like, like that one system that I have. I mean, there are like there's always at least a week or two a year where it's so dark that yeah. you know it, it's not even enough to do the trickle. Yeah. Um, which is fine. I mean, you're pulling off the grid at that at that point in time. You're not trying to like have a zillion panels. But anyway, yeah. For your particular circumstance, you may need. I, I, would, I would definitely need more. Okay. Yeah. But I, I actually didn't realize that they were this small. I've not seen them. Yeah. Uh, you know, in, in person before. So when we walked through here earlier, I looked at it. It's like, oh, okay, that's tiny. It's smaller yeah. than. I, but I guess it makes sense if it's only 13 kilowatt hours. Yeah. You know, you kind of pair, compare that to what the car pack is. Yeah. Know, yeah. And fun fact, same exact. Same cells. Same cells. As the Model Three or as the Model S. If I remember correctly, Model Three. Okay, the, what is it, 1780? What is it? I don't remember the cells. I do not remember the exact cell features that we use. Okay, that's fine. So it's a newer it's, battery. It's fine. Yeah, yeah, newer battery. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And is there plans for the software upgrade to do, uh, use the car as the, as the pack? For the Cybertruck, yes. But not for any of the cars? For any of the cars at this time, no. I have no idea if there are any implementation, any plans okay. in the near future. Because yeah. for you, that would be 
you only drive well yeah that's 10 20 yeah miles. and there, there's an extra 75 kilowatts right there so yeah yeah <laughs> 73 if you're looking at the all-wheel drive Model yes 3. yeah yeah because yeah, that would be almost enough to run your home right yeah right, right. <laughs> yeah right <laughs> let's not do that though I, I i think you prefer to use it for driving purposes that's right yeah i got always got to have some in there got to keep yeah. it above 20 percent too don't yeah. want don't want less than that <laughs> you're a leaf driver you're gonna love it that's yeah, right. I, I, yeah i like it when people come in who have been in the electric community for yeah. a long time and they get into a tesla with a bigger battery pack and you're like oh yeah, 80 miles, range anxiety, what's that? Because I go around with 80 every day, and then when you hop into a car with 200 to 320, you're like, yeah. wow, totally different story. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep, I've had my car for five years, so it's been... Yeah. Uh, Were you on, like, the 80-mile average during that time? Yeah, I mean, that's what it's at now. Mm -hmm. It started at 100, but yeah. that was 100, very optimistic on a flat road at 55 miles an hour yeah. uh, in summer with nothing on you know in the car yeah but uh i can tell you that when we went to we've been back and forth to seattle several times into the river and on the way to seattle uh it usually takes one to two trips to stop which adds an additional uh hour to two hours onto the trip yeah. so uh and that's pretty standard it'll take like five hours to get to uh four to five hours depending on if it's the winter or it's the summer to get to Seattle and then if uh, uh, it's a really bad day I had a bunch of people in the car it was uh, cold rainy wet uh, the traction control was on taking up a little bit of power we had the heat on we had the heated seats on we had the lights on um, and uh, it's and we had people that were stopped at the charging stations on the way yeah. up because uh, there was only one charger and yeah. so everybody was in front of each other and so I had to wait you know two cars in front of me to charge and it took me eight hours to get to Seattle sometime. Whoa. Yeah I want to blow my brains out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, a three hour trip became an eight hour trip now that's yeah. I've heard similar stories to that. Yeah. I mean that only happened once but yeah. it's enough to we, be able we to We gotta get you more range. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well with the Model 3 the least you're looking at is 220 miles in the standard range model three, which is 35,000, the one that Elon did promise. And if you're looking at what's advertised online, the standard range plus 250, the all-wheel drive variant will be 320. Cool. Yeah. Unless, and we have the superchargers. Unless you get utilized. the performance package and then it takes you down to 299. Yeah, <laughs> with the cosmetics added on. <laughs> you, want the, you want the 20 inch wheels? <laughs> Less sounds, aerodynamic. Sounds like fun. Yeah, right? Actually, did you see the new track package that came out? Yeah, yeah, I did. I did not watch that YouTube video yet. I just saw some like pictures. Yeah, I didn't. Like, I didn't watch the yeah. video, but I saw. I saw it come it was, out. It was yeah. slick track mode V two. Yeah, I like the wheels. Like tracks, like a tank, like a race track. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <That's, laughs> well, you know, it could track like a tank. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's an option. They have so, like those mini track wheels, you know. Yeah. That are like they're like tires. Yes, they're like tracks. Yes, I've seen those. You put, the put them on truck. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's what I was wondering. <laughs> you guys are innovative. Yeah, I don't know. So when I was mentioning Powerwall, the reason why I say put it on, you already pay for installation, and this Powerwall will be added onto the unit or total price of your solar system, which will let you take advantage of that 26% federal tax credit that's currently for the year of 2020. Okay. So it's a really good thing. If you bought solar and then you change your mind, like, ah, I kind of want the Powerwall now. You have to pay for the installation, you have to pay for the, solar, for the power wall, and you don't get the tax credit. So it's really good just to add on ahead of time just so you can utilize that. Yeah. yeah. And currently there's some bundles going on. The most infamous one right now is buy two, get an additional one. So for the price of two, you get one more for free. What are the power walls going for right now? $6,500 per. Per, okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Which is pretty good. But is that's just a battery pack without an inverter or with an inverter? with so oh everything. it has an inverter with it yeah. okay well that's okay okay well then that's not too bad because uh 13 and a half kilowatt uh inverter would be yeah you end up spending a good deal on the inverter yeah it's about three thousand dollars yeah three four thousand dollars for the yeah. inverter i wonder how is that uh well actually no this is a battery pack so yep what's the voltage input on them and the okay. output at one time can be five kilowatt hours Oh, but what's the voltage? I'm assuming the output's 220, but the input's, is it, 
Or is it is it outputting at 240, or is it outputting at something else? At 240, I believe. Okay, so it's out. That's a very finite question. I don't have the answer to. Which okay, no so, worries. Yeah, I just so, know at one time you can actually release five kilowatt hours at one time. So you can't have everything in your house running at once. Okay, so. One power wall. Uh, so if you have multiple power walls, though, can they run in parallel so that you can have additional kilowatt? Okay. That is correct. So if you needed to be on different circuits. Yep. Oh. Yeah. You can't. You don't want your you don't want your breaker flipping out on you. Well, but if you ran them in uh, parallel instead of in a series, then you could increase your amperage output by ke and keep the same voltage. That's true. Yeah. You depends on how many you have because you'd have to balance the the panel yeah because uh, the electricity if it's coming in if you, all the power's on the bottom and it's going towards the top sounds like we got some research to do on that one but i mean that yeah. you're in a weird case you would because you would need 10 you yeah. know for an well i, I person, wouldn't i wouldn't just get put it on the bottom circuit <laughs> and it would feed up to the top and, I, I, yeah well i I, w I wouldn't i wouldn't need 10 but yeah. <laughs> you know you get, you get, yeah. need a couple at least yeah. um, about, um, but i would need more than five Kilowatt hours. I mean, that actually would be a huge issue for me because my well by itself, when it flips on, I think it needs five kilowatts right. just to run the well pump. Yeah. So I need, I need, you know, I need to draw that can peak, you know, probably like ten. Maybe we, we should look into like variable speed pumps on your on your well. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, going to detail regarding this. Yeah. Those finite questions that we're talking about right now, our engineers will be more than equipped to answer those, hey, can your power wall distribute electricity to certain appliances in the home? The answer to that will be yes, but yeah. the more specific, like how much can it do? What's the limit? What can I do with it? Yep. The engineers will have more answers to that. Yeah, cool. Okay. That's fine. Yep. Yeah. So I'm just more of like the forefront, like the yeah, yeah, yeah. No, this is, this, like, is great, oh, this is great. This is great. Tell me about like Tesla 101, and then like tell me about Tesla 1000, uh -huh. and that's when I'm like, oh boy, here we go. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. Well, let's talk about the uh, the cells themselves because okay. I, I think that's probably the pretty kind of interesting thing is. Yeah. So so instead of doing architectural shingles, yeah. you're doing cells, individual shingles. So so, so each each cells are built into the shingles. That is correct. Um, and then there's a, I assume then there's a uh, wiring process that each of those has to be strung together, wired correctly, so that you had uh, all of them installed properly. You've got your voltage and your amperage correctly to go back to your system, so. That is correct. Yeah. I wish we had actually a display model here. We're getting it sometime next month. Oh, yeah, that'd be, very, that'd yeah, be, yeah, it'd be good to look too. at, yeah, yeah. So that's gonna be a very fun thing to have in the showroom. But essentially, how I understand the shingles, the cherry pick them, right? So again, uh, Washington's a bit different for Oregon. And your unit has to be at least 75% or more efficient to get reimbursed by a stay on to your entire solar unit. Okay. But for that, that's how we cherry pick each individual cell. So if you had some shaded areas, we mm -hmm. could avoid those areas, relocate to a different part of your roof. So you just do regular non-solar during that one section of your roof yeah. that either gets less sun or it's facing in a different direction yeah. or whatever. So the idea is you're only putting the more expensive solar shingles where you get the good sun. Yeah. That is correct. Cool. And does it go over the existing roof, or does it, uh, or do you tear off a bit of the roof and then it, you stick it onto the tar paper? We tear off the entire roof. Okay. Literally. In the section where you yep. need it. Okay. Yep. That is correct. So. Or, or the entire roof. The, the entire. The entire roof. So, so if we were to do, roof, yeah. if we were to do one of these right here, even yeah. though we only have good sunlight right here, you do yeah. the entire roof, and then you yeah. put the solar, the shingles that have solar right in the, the yeah. good solar spot, but then all this other stuff that doesn't get good sun. Yep. Yeah. Got it. it would just be the solar tiles without the cells inside of it. So that solar roof that we're talking about, oh, same so, material. So it's so it's yep. the same shingles then. It that just is. doesn't have the the actual solar cells inside of them. That is correct. Yeah. Hmm. And then if you want to replace it later, do they snap out and then they snap? You have snap to in or? Yep, that is correct. So oh. you can cherry pick those ones that you have and replace okay. them. I love using that term. What, what, what's the uh, the typical lifetime of uh, these? 25 years. 25 years. Okay, For, so it's similar to architectural shingles. Huh? Yeah. That is and are they, oh, the, are they vinyl? The cells. The cells are. The cells are. The cells are. But your actual shingles will last longer than your home. Well, okay. Yeah, so it, it's weird to think about. It's like, oh, my roof's going to last longer than my home kind of circumstance. But that is what we made them for and at the end of the day. That's kind of why my family is leaning towards more of getting the solar roof over the solar panels. 
Gotcha. Yeah. So what is the gar- what's the guarantee from for you guys the, then? The warranty will be a 25 year for weather weatherization okay. and for the cell production. And we're talking about the warranty on the actual roofing itself before it was an infinite, but then we change it to a 30 year just to compensate for production reasons. Okay. Not so so to compare it to your typical solar panel, when you've got a solar roof installed, yeah. what kind of uh, wattage do you get, like let's say per square meter? It's all dependent on where we put those individual cells. Sure, yeah, I, I mean, yeah. like, it, it, power, though. what's that? Your peak. Yeah, I'm talking about yeah. peak. Yeah. At, at S, your uh, STC, your mm. standard temperature. So I could compare it to what a, a typical, because I'm familiar with you know what a typical solar pa- panel will do, if you say a, a 200 watt. Yeah. I, I know how big a 200 watt is. And Correct me again, 25 years. Minus five years on the 30, I said before. Okay. okay. To no, you, check you, said, you said 25 years. Yeah. Yeah. You uh, said 25, 25 for the uh, weatherization, the power, but I said 30 for the tile itself. Ah, uh, okay. So, yeah, Correcting myself there. 15 inch by 45, and, so yeah. sim- and similar. And these are walkable? You can walk oh, you, on the roof? With heels. With if, heels. If so. you really want it. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to be on my roof in heels. So, yeah, but, right? <laughs> That's probably not the safest thing. <laughs> yeah. Don't do that. Yeah, right. But on. if you really want to test the durability. Okay. Yeah, you cool. could try walking on them with heels. Just don't hurt yourself. Get some right. nice straps, safety uh, yeah. cables, and everything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, what about uh, um, venting and things like that? Yeah. I mean, uh, how do they work for? Because typically with architectural shingles, you just cut yeah. out and you'd work around vents. But how does that work for uh, the solar roof? So how I understand these solar roof shingles are applied, the airflow can actually go through these shingles self-cooling it, oh, I see. and then with the water, it's just gonna go right over it. During the summertime, completely different story. There's no water during the summertime, so no rain. Overheating isn't an issue. Cleaning, same exact process. Get on top, spray now if you need to. There's some moss buildup. Mm-hmm. Uh, I see. Mm-hmm. So it looks like what they have here is, they have, so you have your, you have your, your jacks. So there's your, your tar paper or your, your membrane material that's standard roofing. And then they have these click-ins that goes into the rack that goes on the bottom. And then they have microinverters on each one of the panels. Ah, uh, okay. On each one of the, the roof tiles. So then all of the tiles are in parallel with each other versus straight. Which not, is- not a lot of overlap with these though, the way that they're, the way that they're structured and put on here. Yeah, you totally gotta you totally gotta get some of that in the showroom here. You gotta see yeah, this stuff. Yeah, right in person. Yeah. Um, so so uh, back to my earlier question. What about where you need to have vents in the roof? For cooling purposes? No, 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 no. For like the the bathroom vent. Ah, uh, the bathroom vent. Uh, air flow. Yeah. Air. Uh, I mean, there's a, there's a ton of reasons. Oh yeah. Most I, houses yeah, have, yeah. have like all, the, the all, little, yeah. all kinds of different the mini vents. The chimney for like cooking purposes and stuff. Yeah, not for cooking, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. we we built around it. <laughs> yeah. So, whatever your current design is, we'll work around that. So essentially, I wouldn't be too concerned about it. Okay. S- similar process then. You probably put a, you know, something without a solar cell in it in that spot. Well, for and... sure we won't put a solar cell. Yeah, right. So, yeah. Right, right, yeah. Okay. We could if you really wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I, I really want a solar cell in this one. Can, can you do it for me? But, talking about design and everything, very straightforward on how we're actually putting on the shingles. Installation time. Eight hours. Yeah. Per... For the roof. Literally. For what size of roof? I'm gonna assume three thousand. Okay. And then, uh, what do you do with the valleys and hips? That is such a good question. I haven't seen the installation myself yet. Okay. We're so private about it. We put a whole. It, are there any yeah. houses here in the area that have it? At this time, no installations start during the springtime. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. I remember while. Some I'll, have to, I'll have to come back here when you guys get some got some demos because I'd, I'd be love to see one. this. Yeah, yeah. I might be the first one. All right, so all right, we're going to your house then. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, talking about that, I remember when we were first doing the trainings to actually install these solar roofs. We put like a whole like little sheet around the home so no one could like put drones on top and watch yeah, us do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just to practice how fast we can do it. Yeah. And then Elon came out and said eight hours, so I'm like, okay. All right. All right. Right on.
Yeah, this one here will take eight hours. Yeah. So this one here will take like way faster. This is like yeah. The flat parts yeah. are always easy. It's easiest. The reason I'm asking all these questions is I, I mean I've done roofs before and yeah. and it's not the flat part that you worry about. It's yeah. the valleys and the hips and the vents and all the rest of that is where you end up spending all your time. So yeah. Well, and if they're super durable, it also makes it more difficult to cut. You know, right. like if you were to, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, I'm gonna yeah. take a yeah. hole saw and Ar cut a hole. Architectural shingle, thing. you can just grab your box knife and just you know tear yeah. through it and say, oh, I need to be this size. Done. So. Yeah. And then does it? Well, I guess Solar City is the one who's installing it, uh, or te yeah. Tesla, Tesla. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Tesla is the one that's installing. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Uh, but what I was wondering is if it goes down like normal roofing with a nail gun, or if it's more of um, you know, because if there's venting underneath and there's spacing underneath, does that mean that there is, a, instead of having just a standard tar paper layer, is there a flashing layer? So there's like flashing that overlaps. So you have your whole roof is, oh, you have to, that's why it's a full tear off. Because with the spacing that accounts for the cooling, you probably have to have yeah. tar paper and then you have and a, that, a that full blown and that membrane is more than just your typical tar paper because the membrane is also it's a flashing yeah it's probably it's an adhesive flashing yeah material. yeah that makes sense so, so that's your actual weatherproofing that's yeah because you could just put that on and then the solar roof it could, i mean it's just it's yeah. anything yeah. okay yeah, <laughs> cool. yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> like i'm as curious as you guys yeah uh, yeah that's awesome all yeah. right Solar panels, a bit different, mm -hmm. but there are size options. So for you, you might be on the extra, extra large, just for your kilowatt hour consumption. Mm -hmm. See, I'm on Oregon. Ideally, I hope you're not on the extra, extra large, but we'll see. Every time we do yeah. the math, it ends up it ends up that way. Um, I wanna say the last time we, we did panels, we were looking at 20 something kilowatts were the panels correct me if i'm wrong here oh yeah that sounds right yeah, yeah it was a lot it was not cheap and i don't have to do it on my roof the other advantage i have is i've got a bit of space so i mean if uh if it made more sense both financially as as well as from a efficiency perspective because there are trees to the south side of the house yeah then um i i would have the option of going and you know go 100 feet off to yeah. in in the more northern end of my property and do a bank of them there and uh yeah. sit and, and i would have more sunlight up by where the garden is things mm -hmm. like that mm -hmm. so so we get we get some creative options for me in that one in that regard but it's still at the end of yeah. the day it's a lot of power yeah it's yeah yeah, yeah. Um, and it kind of blew me when we said 100 a day. I was like trying to do the raw math for a second there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. It's about like over 3,000. Yeah, That's yeah. What's yeah. worse? His worst month is 4,200 a month. 4,200 kilowatt hours. hours. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, exactly. If, if you did tell me what you did for a living, I would have guessed a lot of things there. Yeah. Did you get ever any questions from the state? No. Oh, okay. as far as like growing wheat? <laughs> yeah. No. yeah. I mean, uh, before it was uh, yeah. no, it's, technically legal. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, um, I, I just live out in the country yeah. and, and there is, power is the only utility. So it's, it's heating, it's hot water, yeah. it's uh, running the well, it's running the septic, it's everything. Yeah. So, yeah. I guess that's one way to get away with it, right? Yeah. You only guys, you only give me power. That's why my electric bill is so high. That's probably um, a trend. Though. Everyone in your neighborhood's probably like that. I'm oh yeah, 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 yeah. Everyone, everyone like that out there. Yeah. So, um, the uh, but the other thing that always factors into this equation as well, and one of the things that we'll we'll do in the math is the power is quite cheap. Yeah. So eight cents a kilowatt hour, um, all 24 hours. That's not you know only at night or things like that. That's yeah. any time of the day. Eight cents a kilowatt hour, which is not the cheapest in the nation, but it's pretty inexpensive. Yeah. Um, in. Which makes it much easier to do than you know. So often the some of the challenges we do we get with these exercises for my house. The last couple times we've run through it is this would work it, financially. It would make brilliant sense if I lived in California. Yeah. But here and it's not and break even. It, uh, well. It, it, or it takes 20 years to break even yeah. is usually the problem is the last 
last time we did the math on this, it was like, I think we've got the answer to it, but it'll be 20 years before I break even, so. Yeah, for probably your particular <laughs> circumstances. Yeah, yeah. So for, uh, I like using Portland as a general like representation of it. Right. Everyone I've seen right now, it's a basically a wash, right? So you're paying about X for electricity, same thing for solar alone for the course of 20 years. Mm -hmm. Now with that, for you guys, you spend a lot more. However, I'm not sure when the coal plants do shut down in Oregon, that will be the same. And that's what incentivizes uh, me more. I don't know that we have any coal plants. Not for PGE. There's only one. Not for PGE. Are yeah. we shutting down two? Yeah. 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 And um, that's what makes me curious. Like, will that affect the electrical rate? Would that make solar more incentivizing? Once we become more like California, right? Where it is, uh, hey, it makes more sense to we, go solar. We have natural gas. Yeah. Um, A lot of hydro. Uh, but hydro. but the majority is hydro. Yeah. 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 The Columbia River Basin, of course, is, yeah. you know. Which is a good thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. But once the coal plants do shut down, I'm curious, like, what the reality will be. I, I don't expect to make much of a difference here. Yeah. For um, you guys, probably not. Yeah. Yeah. I think for Clark County is is PUD on the Washington side, so yeah. you know there's there's some more visibility there. I want to say. Um, they have the natural gas plant, and that's predominantly just to give them additional capacity that they can yeah, turn turn on peaking, as they need. Right? Yeah, peak kind of thing. And I want to say it's less than 20% of the power is supplied via natural gas. Yeah. The vast majority is all hydro, which fortunately yeah. probably won't change much in terms of cost, because yeah. as long as Columbia River still has water. <laughs> right. We'll keep raining, right? That's right. Yeah. That's right. That's um, the things I think about when I look at solar, like if things were to change, electrical rates go up. Totally. That's when totally. we're at this oh, yeah. break even point when totally, it's more incentivizing, which is big well, for California. And so. there is a potential of other weird schemes that could happen. It's like there could be, um, uh, at, because we have an abundance of power, we could we could ship that power, sell it for more, mm -hmm. and then that would mean that we'd have to buy and import power that is mm -hmm. more expensive. So if we were able to sell it to California or Nevada, yep. as an instance for, let's say, 13 cents a kilowatt, and we could then buy it at 10, then the rates could go up to 10 because yep. it's we're possible. now having, we're, we're shifting our, our model. So that is something that could happen yeah. without changing the power. Right. A lot of interesting things. To Sorry, about. I don't. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> oh, wow. you know, yeah. This is the stuff that we get into when we, start, <laughs> when we get together and, t and talk through this stuff. So, yeah. um, Probably, maybe <laughs> more of the geeky side than, than your. Remind again, you were doing something at CCC? Yeah, I teach renewable energy yeah. and alternative ah. fuels. So. Okay. Uh, what particular course uh, name is that? Oh, uh, so I'm, it's the Renewable Energy uh, Technician Program. Okay. Uh, it's a two-year degree, so okay. we cover... Um, Th this guy runs the program, so, yeah. And, yeah, so and teaches. So, so uh, we cover uh, solar thermal, solar PV, uh, yeah. biomass, uh, ethanol, biodiesel, fuel cells, bat battery production, um, um, uh, yeah, ba batteries, fuel cells, uh, geothermal, uh, hydro, tidal, wave, yeah. um, uh, yeah, so we actually built a 150,000 square foot uh, uh, parking or uh, back lot to our, our normal lab where yeah. we have 2,000 square foot roofs that we that we do solar on. So we have uh, uh, five uh, three kilowatt systems over there where nice. we have a composite roof, we have a metal roof, uh, we have a tile and a corrugated roof, and then when they have microinverters, we have uh, uh, systems that have DC optimizers, and then we have a standard string system. We have a ground mount system out there. Uh, we uh, build wind turbines and install, install wind turbines. Uh, yeah. We have a biofuel program where we make 60 gallons of biodiesel and ethanol uh, every few days. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and automation, build energy efficiency, and building auditing, uh, and so it's, it's like a uh, pre, it's almost like pre-engineering for renewable energy. Yeah. Um, for the people that, that like do it, you know? Yeah. And so, uh, my, yeah. So. My friend was looking for some courses to take because she's like, there's no fun courses at CCC. Oh, I'm like, okay, Did, well, oh, there, yeah, yeah. guess what I learned today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. tell her to go, yeah. go check it out. Yeah, so yeah. if she's at CCC, go yeah. to the industrial tech center building yeah. and, talk, and talk to me. Yeah. Uh, All right, so. I will send her your way. Okay. Yeah. You should be expecting someone actually very soon because she was actually like, yeah, I have no courses to take and I'm, oh. it's not time to transfer yet. S send oh, her out yeah. there tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Might yeah. As well. I'll, I'll be there Monday. Yeah, okay. for sure. <laughs> Easy. <So. Right. laughs> Two birds, one stone today. Right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah.
Um, all right, so what else can you, can you tell us? Um, is that most of the info that you had, or you have uh, additional? This is most of the info I have regarding solar. Uh -huh. So the more finite details on when we get, pretend you wanted to go with Tesla solar, right? Tesla solar operates a bit differently. Before, uh, it was $100 fully refundable. Now we put, it's $100 non-refundable. But if you feel very passionate about the $100, we will give it back. Just, just like the cars. Just like the cars. <laughs> yeah. okay. And yeah. how I, I believe the, the phrasing turned is uh, because there was just so many $100 orders just going in. But then people were just like, yeah, never mind. Give it back. Yeah, right, just right. put it in. Never mind. Give it back. And we're just like, oh, okay, let's stop that. Right. I believe if you don't qualify, I believe it's a clean wash. We just give it back because again, there's no point taking someone's hundred dollars if you don't qualify. Right. right. Yeah. But that's basically to get the engineers linked up with you. And when you get the engineers linked up with you, we get into those finite details of, hey, I have specific questions on. I have this certain need. I want to install this certain area. I have it. I have a barn. Can you mm -hmm. install on the ground? Mm -hmm. Sometimes probably no. Yeah. No, just for safety reasons, but. And what is the, what's the raw cost before the incentives? So, oh, hi. So the show incentives will be based off your state, based off the federal tax credit you'll be saving. So don't have any, any incentives. will be listed. very based off, these are yeah. very raw numbers that we're giving you right now. So if you want this specific size, that's how much it would cost you. Right now, the price does include the installation. Now, talking over the installation, it could vary. So, pretend if you wanted to put a power wall in a very unique situation, like wire everywhere, that would affect your overall price. However, yep. you want like the standard, cheapest alternative, this is the ballpark price that you'll be looking at. Right on. Now, for you, very different story. You're on like an extra, extra large system. But normal consumers are looking about medium to a large system. Mm -hmm. So, you can expect somewhere in between add 5000 remove 5000 from that price tag we're listing online. Cool. Yeah. Can you put the extra large again? Yeah, of course. Fifteen. So it's about two dollars, uh, two dollars and eleven cents per watt. Is what, which is pretty, which is good. Yeah. You know, it's it's a, it's a little. Well, that's with the inverter. Th that includes yeah. inverters that, that and power walls, or that's just the panels. Just the panels. Power wall is not yet included. Does that include inverter, or or is it just the panels? This, I guess what we're asking is this the installed price for everything to... Yeah, that is correct. Okay, it, so it that's is, with inverter. Yeah. Okay. It's with the inverter? For everything to work? I, that's a very finite question. I wish I had the answer okay. to. Okay, all right, all right. I oh, want to well, say yes, because for a solar micro system to work, you need an inverter, if I'm thinking about it correctly. They're microinverters on the panels. So right. that's the installed price. Yeah. Because it's output, each one of those are outputting at 220. Oh, each, each one is at 220? Uh-huh. So a little bit of amperage. So if you were to not do any um, power wall at all and you were to just grid tie this, you're saying you would just directly grid tie at that? Sure. All right. Yeah, which is probably not the best idea in the case of a power outage. Sure, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah in the case of a power outage, you're, yeah. if you do direct grid tie without battery right. backup and, yeah. and there's a power outage, you have <laughs> you're, no power. You're basically yeah. going to be yeah. sitting there yeah. Yeah. with no lights for yeah. the evening, I should say, so yeah. that's until not... the sun comes back. That's not too much. Yeah, actually, that's not, it's not terrible. No, that's pretty decent actually, because mm -hmm. a standard install is probably two and a half to four dollars depending on the vendor. So this is potentially under the price of standard panels because standard panels. Well, oh, but that's that's just for the panel system, but that's not for the roofing. The roofing is different. So, yeah, this okay. is yeah, this is okay. for the panel so, system, not sorry, the, not now, the tiles. Yeah, now I'm <laughs> okay. So what what we should do is we're really excited, as yeah. you can see. We should just let you uh, give your your normal spiel as if we yeah. were <laughs> if we didn't know anything. Yeah, and I'm sure you're gonna say what we're gonna ask without throwing you off. Yeah, so. with, without getting so far ahead of you. <laughs> yeah, so because <laughs> uh, you're you're doing like I. I appreciate you taking the, yeah, no the time to have us throw curveballs at you left and right. So. Well, the best part, you guys did come here early, so I have all the time in the world right now. That's true. Which is good. Okay. Sundays are a bit slower. Saturdays are the worst days. Do you, do you normally work here yep. ac across everything? So you're not just coming in just for talk to solar? No, okay. I'm here for everything. Yeah. All right, yeah. Solar, yeah. cars. Uh, no, no commercial at this time. We're only offering that in California. Good. Then when we're done here, maybe you can tell me when my Model 3 is going to show up. I could actually just tell you right now with an estimate. When did you place your order? Two weeks ago. 
most definitely you are getting it towards potentially uh, the end of March if you're lucky. If you're flexible with color, I have three options right now. I have a nope, two. I'm not. <laughs> oh, you're not. Is it all wheel drive, rear wheel drive? What we all wheel at? drive performance. All wheel drive performance. Never yeah. mind. I don't have any in Seattle. I was about to say I have a bunch of long ranges. Yep. In nope. Seattle. Yep. <laughs> we'll see more get here. Yep. Uh, cosmetics. Did you get the performance? Uh, yeah, cosmetics? I got the performance package. Yeah. So you don't have any way to look up and tell any more information than the website will tell me. I can. Ooh. See, we got to do that. I do it right now. Do you want to pause your recording? Let's really do that. Later? It's going good. Yeah. It's going good. Yeah, we're getting lots of lots of good stuff answered. Yeah. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> So it looks like what we have here is we have monocrystalline panels. We have the four inch, four inch by four inch. So these are roughly about four watts a piece. So we got one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's 40 times four, it's about 160 watts a piece. <laughs> and then we have these systems over here, which are about five inches. So it's about five inches. By so it looks like the, the, the solar itself is like Roughly two, a little over two bucks a watt. It's like two dollars and eleven cents, maybe two fifty. It looks like you get, you get for the, the panel for the panels, not for the tiles. For the panels, yeah. So I guess the question would be is how much does the roofing part of the if it's correct? if if it's tiles, what's what what's the uh, ha two fifty? Look at that. Correct, right? Because I, I was like, oh, this sounds about right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 315 watts. Okay. Yeah. So this actually shows. But this is. Is this one up to date or is this, this not is up to date? This one up to date. This yep. one is up to date. 
Because this isn't a flush mount system. This is this looks like a system that is currently being installed that has a racking system, but it has yeah. a, but it just has the, um, the uh, a piece of flashing around. Yeah, it. the trim, yeah. the trim. Yeah, 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 trim around it. Yeah. So. What email did you? It's about half an inch mount. This is actually drilling into your actual shingles on your shoe, on your roof. You should say. So. But this one is a, this is a um, roof, uh, this is like a roof mounted, but it's like, yeah. uh, what am I trying to say? It's a, it's not a replacement for the roof. And this is not a replacement. No. Yeah, this, this is not actually. the tiles. This yep. is, this is panels. So they have two options. They have panels oh, and they have tiles. I see. Okay, I see. So you have two systems. You have the solar pile yep. and you have solar panels. Yep, solar panels. Got it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so you get it. So we got to pick. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I see. Okay. So the solar panels are roughly two dollars and ten, two dollars fifty cents ish. Okay, that makes sense because that's yeah. pretty. What, what about the tiles? From what I'm hearing, more efficient and cheaper. Less than two fifty. Literally. Really. Yeah. So okay. So tell us about the solar tile because that's the you know that's the. Finite new sexy, right? Well, yeah. yeah, it's it's the thing that's unique to. Is it two dollars and eleven cents a watt? Okay. But then they have it listed as buck eighty-five a watt for panels. Yeah. <laughs> Varies on state. <laughs> so maybe. Or depending on which size the system, or. Because that's two dollars and eleven cents. Eleven cents, isn't it? Ten cents, sir. What's your cost to uh, in Oregon per kilowatt hour? Yeah, it, no, it's it it's, varies. Yeah, it's like ten, 10 to eleven, depending on taxes. Oh, uh, okay. There's right. a lot of taxes. If you look at your electric bill, yeah. okay. For Oregon, for example, right, my family's using about two hundred because we're all electric. There's no gas in our home, mm -hmm. and if you yeah. broke that two hundred dollars down, you're looking about maybe eighty dollars. Electric sure. Yeah. So, fees. so for us, the way they do it is there's a flat set of fees. All, all the taxes are still there, but yeah. the taxes are flat. So you're always paying that amount for the taxes every month, yeah. and it's like ends up being like thirty dollars of the bill. And then after that, it's eight cents a kilowatt hour for all the power that you consume. Right. So. Yeah, they have. Uh, there's like. Uh, so they there's so they're a, they're peanut butter spreading their tax based on how much you consume as opposed to a flat. And it's based off of usage. So if you have you have a flat fee up to uh, 600 kilowatt hours, and then anything over six, actually 560 kilowatt hours, anything over 560 is more taxes then. And mm. then you have to pay for distribution, a distribution tax, a power production tax. Interesting. City tax. Okay. And it, you have to pay for city tax and county tax through every single county from Bonneville to here. <laughs> <laughs> so... I didn't know about that one, but that was very interesting. It just, you know, it was music to my ears right there on uh, not bad music to my ears. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, okay, so, so I get how the solar panel system works. Yeah. That's pretty standard. So for yep. the solar tile system, let's let's focus on that then. Now. Yeah, because that's a little bit. It's yeah. also sexier. Yeah. Right. And yeah. and if I've got to redo my roof at some point, anyways, you know, yeah. then that's right. you know. Which but, is in the uh, next couple of years, uh, right? Uh, you probably in, in, the, in the next few years here. You said 3,600? Uh -huh. right. Yeah. Two stories, you said 200 a month? Or, or, it or call it 150. 150. Yeah. So, yeah. Nine cents. That's Oregon. I'll be Washington, right? Probably a lot more than a 13 half kilowatt hour system. Um, what well, uh, roughly? Well, I, I mean, you, we could do it any size. So the question is, yeah. and that's sort of the part of the fun math of these projects is, yeah. at what point does it actually make sense? Because, yeah. you know, at, 
at peak, yeah. you're pull off the grid, right? Yeah. But it, <laughs> you know. How much do you really need? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you, yeah. Don't, you don't want to have a bunch of extra capacity that's sitting yeah. idle. So your, and that's what the your, actually go your utilization yeah. is, is much better if you do a, a lower amount. So this right here is just a basic plug and play kind of system. You might be a little bit different. You could be more or less. Yeah. That's when the engineers go on a little uh, call with you, give you a little share screen blueprint. And we're like, all right, here's the build. How would you, how should we modify it to your specific need? And we'll give you an option A, B, C, and that's where we'll get from. Sweet. Yeah. So you're not restricted to what I'm showing you right now, yeah. which is good. Yeah. But you can be, right? You're so fine. then, so to do this then, yep. this $4,600 or $46,000, yep. uh, that just, the rough math on that is about three, $3.43 $3. a watt. Mm -hmm. Um, installed, which is still not bad. Yeah, um, and it's so, the and it's the tiles, so you actually you get a roof as well. Yeah, but this is for the whole roof too. That right? is for so the roof. Be a for the full, a full roof and a full set of solar. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And we're going with the twenty thousand, right? Technically, chop it out by yeah. twenty thousand on price tag. Yeah, and, and and that's what you have to compare it to the cost of a roof plus solar. Yeah. Not just the cost of solar or just the cost of a roof. You got yeah. to kind of combine both when you're doing the tile approach. And what is then for, and that, this cost is yeah. post or pre uh, incentives? No so incentives. It says applied. before, yeah. yeah. So right now, no incentives applied yet. So we did apply some incentives. Show the 26% federal tax credit. Uh, for the state of Washington, I'm not very sure yeah, specifically what incentives you have. Th there are very few. Yeah. Um, I think the PUD, there's a little bit, but there's no um, state income tax in Washington. Okay. So uh, in Oregon, it comes off state in the income tax, right? Is that the, in the way the incentives in Oregon work? No, to my knowledge. No? They com it, comes from, um, it comes from Energy Trust. Uh, oh, yeah. So, ener so we have Energy Trust and we have Federal. And we actually technically have Oregon Department of Energy, but it's not funded right now. So it should be getting funded sometime soon. Like it got approved to be able to give an additional tax incentive again for our- But, but what's the tax incentive against? So Oregon Department of Energy is from, or, from state income taxes, essentially. Right. But uh, ETO, Energy Trust Oregon, actually comes from PGE. So PGE is mandated to be able to give a certain amount of energy towards a renewable energy bucket of their, and so they give that to ETO, and ETO gives that to Oregon the, residents. And then they literally cut you a check then. Yeah. 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 As opposed to a credit on your income right. tax. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Do you guys have manufacturing in Washington? Manufacturing the, the, sol sol the sol solar equipment? We do not make them in Washington, we make them all in New York. Okay, because yep. if you made them in Washington, then he could get a tax incentive ah. because they're made in Washington. So... Gigafactory Washington? So, yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, so what, because uh, isn't Solar City the, uh, the one out in Hillsborough over by the airport in Hillsborough? They is that? They're out of business. That's, but uh, that's uh, Solar World. Oh, Solar World, I'm thinking. Okay. Yeah. 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 China, unfortunately, yeah. uh, you know, got too cheap. I was hearing a lot of talks about people saying, hey, is Gigafactory New York shutting down yet? Are you guys going to China yet? I'm like, no, we're not. <laughs> yeah. We're actually hired. We're ramping up a lot. Yeah. 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 So we don't get fined. Got, got to ramp up in China for the China demand. Oh, Gigafactory Shanghai? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm excited for when the two to four week delivery time. I can't wait till that's back. Yeah. I hate telling people for 2020, it's every end of quarters when you're expecting delivery. I mean, it's nice. Yeah. The cars are still coming faster. I just want to say, hey, two to four weeks to get a car. Right. Yeah. yeah, it'd be nice. Yeah, he was saying that the first first couple months of the quarter, they're serving demand outside of the U.S. from the Fremont factory. So they're sending cars to Europe and sending the cars to Asia. Oh, okay. okay. So. So with uh, Portland General Electric, with the incentives from PGE, those are your estimated savings. So total price tag is now looking about 36, right? Am I? 35 after savings. Cool. Yeah. Compared to no savings, you're saying about 40. My vision's really bad. I'll let you do the rest of that. Yeah. <laughs> no contacts today. 
put your glasses on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, that's awesome. Okay, so now I'm curious for me because I want to. Uh, I just bought. I just put a new roof on my house. Now, which kind of sucks, but. <laughs> well, I do panels. <laughs> yeah, that's right, right. Well, let's use you as an example. How big is your home? It is fifteen hundred square feet. And I'm some very nice two, numbers here. Two story. Uh, my electric bill is, on average, probably about sixty dollars. It's barely anything. You know, minimum requirements above fifty dollars. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. Well, you've got no, no, you've got all your your heat and your hot water all via yeah. natural gas. So. Right. Right. So you're looking at about twenty thousand right now. Okay. And uh, with the incentives, you're looking at about fifteen, right? Cool. So before you got your roof replaced, about six thousand. So you're basically paying about nine ish, give or take. We'll say ten. Yeah. For a solar system with a new roof. Cool. Yeah. Right home. And then for the panels, we're substantially cheaper for you. Yeah, let's yeah, see so for the panels because I already would, have the roof on there. So. You'd probably be like a small system. Well, the other one said. Well, I have a I have an electric car also, which does ah, add that on. would add to it. It's but that's part of your sixty dollars well, a month. That's my sixty bucks. A month. Yeah. Yeah. So you'd be, I'd say about medium is fine because I because I want to get more yeah. electric as we yeah you know as we do this so. Uh, actually, you know what I could do? So I could turn my leaf into the power wall and turn my. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so and, what? And, and then get yourself a Tesla. Right. Yeah. <laughs> hey, did I tell you about the Oregon incentives right now? Uh, go ahead. So twenty five hundred dollars back from the state. Right. That's a clean vehicle rebate. Um, keep the car for six months. Apply within six months. Fine print. Yeah. State of Oregon will send okay. back a check in the mail for twenty five hundred dollars. Cool. Uh, the next part's a bit of a fine print area. It's the charge ahead. Uh, mm -hmm. Married or single? Married. From what I read on the website, it says if you combine household income, make under 80, you get another 2,500. Kind of unrealistic. We do. Yep. Oh. I'm a teacher. Yeah. So. So. <laughs> it's reality for you. So I would yep. say talk to your CPA see if you do qualify for the charge ahead. Yeah. What this says online is 80. It could be lying to me, but what I saw, it was 80. Uh, no, in my area, it's 150. For oh. the medium okay. income for the charger head. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So we're even better. Plenty under. <laughs> <laughs> like you, what you said, eighty. It's actually one fifty now. So yeah. 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 There you go. Five thousand dollars in savings potential. Twenty five guarantee. Five thousand potential. Okay. And quick show over there. Yep. And this is the panels. Sounds cool, man. <laughs>